I've been using this Must Tool MT315 digital microscope that Banggood sent for review a while ago, and it works well as it is for inspection and even soldering. But if I could improve two things, I would increase the field of view so more of the workpiece can be seen at a time, and I would also like to have more clearance under the lens to fit larger PCBs or other items. When I realized the microscope lens and display are a self-contained unit that can be easily removed from the stand, I started thinking. I have some other items Banggood recently sent me, so I decided to try making an experimental microscope stand with a motorized height adjustment assembly. With the cost of lumber way up the past year, I looked around the house for scraps of wood and found some leftover trim pieces that seemed sturdy enough for a prototype. I also recently designed a stepper controller PCB that doubles as a NEMA 17 motor mounting bracket, so that will be useful in this test setup. I started working on a prototype stand that would allow the microscope to raise and lower, and also provides extra clearance under the microscope for larger boards. The prototype platform now has a column holding a counterweight. I ordered bearings to use at the top to help keep the lead screw in alignment and help support the load as the platform tries to pull the shaft away from the center, but they haven't arrived yet, so for now I used heat shrink tubing around the lead screw and a plastic insert to help stabilize everything and allow the motor to freely turn. To complete the assembly, the PCB loosely fits over the motor to allow room to work before securing it. The T8 nut that came with the stepper gets mounted to the platform that holds the microscope, and it has foam to cushion the microscope against the wood. With the platform threaded onto the lead screw, the stepper is positioned within the linear actuator column and everything is secured. The lead screw is manually turned to make sure the platform moves freely, and there's no limit switches on the prototype, so I have to make sure it doesn't try to travel too far in either direction when I run the motor. Using the A4988 stepper module on the PCB, the wiring is straightforward. The 12 volt power supply and two direction control buttons, along with the stepper motor cable, all plug into the board and it's ready for use. When the motor isn't moving, the stepper driver is disabled so the motor doesn't consume power for holding and the shaft can manually be turned if needed. Starting out with the microscope lowered as close to the work surface as possible while still focusing, it's three or four centimeters above the PCB. And there's lots of clearance now to lay a larger board if I need to work on one. Moving the motor to the highest position it can go, it can still focus on the objects on the work surface, so it's easy to get a soldering iron or even hot air reflow tools under here. Looking at a ruler, we can fit between 32 to 33 millimeters of material on the display, and measuring on screen, it looks like we have a five times zoom now. So that's a lot more working space than the original stand, where we could only fit nine millimeters of material on the display. Well, this worked out well for a prototype, and now the microscope has even more versatility. I just have to decide if I'll change the design of the stand or just keep it like this and add more features like limit switches and maybe more lighting because now I have to light up a larger work area at a greater distance, but it's still very usable like this. Thanks again to Banggood for providing the microscope as well as the electromechanical parts to improve its usability, and thanks for watching.